In this video we're going to look at using Accelerist Draw to draw this molecule. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with it, adenosine triphosphate, which if you recall consists of three parts. Uh, the base adenine, bonded to a ribose sugar, and then the three phosphate groups. The base and the sugar together adenosine, hence adenosine triphosphate. Okay, so we'll just click on that and delete it to get rid of it. And the first thing we're going to do is draw the base. And we're going to draw the base, then the sugar, then the phosphate groups, and then we're going to bring them all together. Uh, so you can see the base consists of a six-membered ring attached to a five-membered ring. And there's a couple of six-membered rings in the examples in the in the in the, in the template. So we're going to click on a benzene ring just for simplicity. I click on that down there. Benzene ring appears. Next thing we want is a five-membered ring, so we can select that one. And if we hover over that bond and click. The five membered ring will appear in the right orientation. Uh, one thing we want to do is just make sure we draw these double bonds in the right place. You do see them drawn in different places because, of course, this is a, a conjugated system. Um, but for now, we're just going to make sure they're all in the same orientation as this for consistency. So, they're in the wrong place at the moment. So, if you click on the single bond tool, now select that bond, so click once, it turns to a triple bond, click again, it turns into a single bond. I'll do the trick for the others turn them all to single bonds. Right, so put the double bond in here, and a double bond in here, double bond in here, and a double bond in here. Right, we want a couple of bonds now attaching. We want one for the amine functional group, and we also want a bond dropping down here. Uh, the amine functional group bond appeared in the right orientation. This one had to be actually dragged down into the direction where we wanted to go. Right, so next thing we want to do is put in these nitrogen. So we'll go to the toolbar and select nitrogen. If you click on there, nitrogen will appear. Uh, it's an amine group, so we want to show the hydrogens explicitly. So we right click and go to hydrogen display and click on auto. Okay, so I'll select nitrogen again and we'll put in the heterocyclic nitrogen atom. So one there, one there, one there, and one there. Okay, right, that's the uh, base completed so we'll just move that out the way. Next thing we want to do is the sugar. Now even though the rings are out, five membered rings, um, that one there obviously, which is not quite the same as the one we have there. You often see the ribose sugar drawn with a little bit of stereochemistry indicated. The thicker bonds indicate that these bonds are sort of towards the viewer. Um, it's quite easy to do, we just need to fiddle a little bit with the templates that are available. So we click on that one. Uh, first thing you want to do again is get rid of the double bonds because this doesn't have any. So select the bond, click twice. The next thing we want to do is make this effectively a little, little, little bit shorter in that direction and a little bit wider in that direction. So we've got the lasso tool and select the whole thing. Now if we grab one of these little buttons at the bottom and pull up, you see a number appear indicating it's now about 91% of the size it was earlier on in that, in that orientation. Okay, it's a little bit shorter than it was. We make it a little bit wider than it was. Uh, okay, that's not bad. Next thing we want to do is put in these thicker bonds. Uh, that chevron there, you select it and you click on there and it'll appear in the right orientation. You click on this one, it's the wrong way around, but that's okay. Just click it again. Right, so we finally want this thicker single bond indicating that bond is towards the viewer. Okay, we want to go back to the thin single bond because we want to put in the various other groups. A couple of OH groups coming in here. At the moment it's got nitrogen attached to it. We don't need to worry about that for now. And there's a CH2OH group up here. Right, so if you click on oxygen, we can change that into oxygen, that into oxygen. And then do our right click thing to put the hydrogen display on auto to give us the OH groups. Okay, now this one over here is carbon. So if you click on that, it sort of disappears. As you may recall, carbon atoms aren't shown automatically explicitly. Um, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can make what we actually want here is the carbons and the hydrogens. You can do it in two steps. You can do the make the carbons explicit then make the hydrogens explicit. But the shortcut is simply to go to sh show hydrogen display and click on auto and it puts in the carbons and the hydrogens. Right, we want an OH group attached to that so I'm going to put it in this direction. I'm going to put a bond in there. The hydrogens have moved it, but we'll come back, back to them in a second. I want to know. In here, which is the usual way we convert into AOH. Right, so it's probably sensible to move those hydrogens in, into a different place, so we'll move them left so it looks, it looks more now like uh, the, the, the group as you would draw it. Quick
could have drawn it the other way around but it sort of gets it in the way a bit uh, next thing we want to do is put in an oxygen for the ring oxygen look like I'm not there and now there's the ring oxygen right okay I'll just move this a little bit over here and we'll bring down its friend the base now uh, dangling here is, is effectively a carbon atom uh, which is going to merge with the carbon atom there and there we have completed the adenosine part of the molecule so I'll just drag that out of the way I'm going to save that uh, um, I didn't really want to save it as ATP but it doesn't matter I've got another copy of it somewhere uh, okay so the next thing we want to do is a phosphate group right so uh, there are if you count here there's one two three four five six seven two three four five six seven seven oxygen and phosphorus atoms uh, at the moment we've got oxygen se selected so i'm just going to draw a chain of seven oxygen atoms we select the single bond tool and it draws the first two in three four five six and seven right we'll come back to the phosphorus in a bit for, but for now we're going to put in the other group so you just select the single bond in, single bond tool is still selected drop one down there it automatically becomes oxygen uh, one down here again oxygen and so on uh, put another one up here uh, put triple cell in down there here and here right we can easily change them to double bonds just by clicking once on the bonds these we want to change to OHs in the usual way And we've also got an OH here, so we, we do that by hydrogen display in auto again. Okay, next thing we want to do is change some of these oxygens to phosphorus. So I've selected phosphorus from the toolbar, we click on phosphorus, phosphorus, and phosphorus. Right, let's see where we are. Um, so far, we've got that part of the molecule there up to there. Uh, this here is effectively a CH2 group, so that's the CH2O group from here. So, what we're going to do is put in a single bond with a carbon atom in it. Uh, so we don't so it won't uh, oops got one of the bond tool there rather than the atom tool so i'll drag and select that oxygen and drag across we'll put a carbon atom in there it's hidden it's not explicit and we drop another bond going down over right so we, we want to get rid of this uh, group here so i've selected the rub out tool uh, click on there and there to get rid of it again i'm going to go to the lasso tool and we're going to drag this down a bit near its new friend select the phosphate group drag it over and again as we saw the first time it'll click together to produce our molecule of adenosine triphosphate and there we are we'll save that and i hope that was useful